Hi, I'm Noah St. John. I'm the founding partner and CEO of SuccessClinic.com. And today, I want to share with you how you can make empowering positive changes in your life by doing something you're already doing and using less time and effort than you're doing right now. Now, if you've ever studied self-help or self-improvement at all, you have heard of something called affirmations. As you know, an affirmation is a statement of something that you want to be true in your life. So an example of an affirmation might be, I am rich. So you say, I am rich, and your brain says, yeah, right. I mean, we often say these empowering or positive statements, but we often don't believe them. And so I was thinking about this one day. In fact, I was thinking, because I'd been using affirmations for many, many years, and my life was not going the way I wanted it to go, not even close. So I was saying all these positive things, but nothing was showing up in my life. And I've talked to many, many thousands of people who've had a similar experience to me. Well, I was thinking about this one day in the shower, and I started thinking about why I'd been using these affirmations for so many years, and yet nothing had worked. And then I started to realize that the human brain actually operates using questions. Questions, not statements. For example, why is the sky blue? Do you know why the sky is blue? Well, guess what your brain is doing right now? You know what your brain is doing right now? It's searching for an answer. In fact, it's automatically started to search for an answer. When I asked you the question, why is the sky blue, it automatically started searching for an answer without your own volition. So I said, wait a minute, if the human mind is automatically searching for the answers to questions, why are we going around making statements that we don't believe? Why don't we cut out the middleman? And I said, well, what would that look like? And then I said, wait a minute, a statement or affirmation would be something like, I am rich. And then your brain says, yeah, right. Well, what would the question be? Why am I so rich? Why am I so rich? Go ahead and ask yourself that. Why am I so rich? If that's too much for you, try, why do I have so much? Or why am I so lucky? Or why am I always in the right place at the right time? Now notice, when you ask these questions, what starts to happen in your mind? You start to search for an answer. Now, everyone watching this program knows about the law of sowing and reaping, or what's often been called the law of attraction. As you sow, so shall you reap. So what are we sowing? Well, we're sowing seeds of thought. But what are most people doing? Going around asking lousy questions. How come I'm such a loser? How come I can't do anything right? How come I don't have any money? How come I'm so fat? How come I can't lose those last 10 pounds? How come there's more month left at the end of the money? Right? Well, you ask lousy questions, and what do you get? Lousy answers. And that means a lousy life. So I realized, wait a minute, what if we changed the whole thing around, flipped it on its head, instead of asking disempowering, lousy questions that lead to lousy answers in a lousy life, what if we started asking empowering questions that led to wonderful answers and a miraculous life? And I said, there as I was standing in the shower, holy cow, I think I just invented something. So I had to give it a name. And so the name that I gave it was Af affirmations, affirmations, not affirmations, but affirmations. Now, let me show you how this works. The word affirmation, right, the traditional word that we're used to, comes from the Latin word firmare, which means to make firm. Now, the word affirmations that I invented, and by the way, it's perfectly legitimate to invent a new word to describe a new technology. Oftentimes when we have a new technology or a new way of looking at the universe, we have to have a new word to describe it. For example, if I had said the words to you DVD or CD-ROM or even internet or software a very short time ago in human history, these words had no meaning. So we have a new technology and a new word. Well, this is a new technology of the mind. So the word affirmations that I invented comes from the Latin word formare which means to form, to form or give shape to. So here's the question. What if you're making something firm, but in the wrong form? That would be called a life you don't want. 
How come I'm such a loser? Why can't I do anything right? How come I'm so broke? How come I can't lose weight? Right? Ask lousy questions, you get lousy answers, and that means a lousy life. So now with affirmations, you can create empowering questions, change your thoughts, and change your life. In fact, I remember there was a, a woman named Kathy who was a sales director in a particular company, and not to drop any names, but uh, in this company, one of the prizes that you could win was a pink Cadillac. So Kathy really, really wanted to win that pink Cadillac, and she'd been trying for more than four years using the traditional affirmation method. She'd been saying, I am a Cadillac director, I'm a Cadillac director, I'm a Cadillac director. She even said them with her husband and they would say them together. So she was really passionate, she was very committed and using the old method. She even put you know, the sign in her shower and she said, no, all I got was a bunch of wet words. So it really didn't work using the traditional method. Well, she heard me speak at their national conference in July, and she, the light bulb went on. She realized that affirmations was the key to giving her what she had really wanted. So she began asking empowering questions rather than making statements, and she began asking, why am I a great Cadillac director? Why did I make Cadillac director so easily? Well, she heard me speak in July. She started affirming right away. In August, everything seemed to change almost by itself in her business and in her life, and in September, she qualified for her Cadillac. That is less than 90 days she qualified and got what she wanted after more than four years of banging her head against the wall using the traditional method. I have so many stories of how people around the world have changed their lives using this method of affirmations. I've had people who found the love of their lives in 90 days when they had totally given up on love, I've had people double, triple, even quintuple their income. People making more money in one month than they had in a whole year. And in fact, in some cases, people's weekly income was now equal to what they had been making in a whole year. In other words, their annual income had be, has become their weekly income. That's pretty cool just when you learn about how to use these empowering questions. And in fact, it's not just for adults. Kids use affirmations all the time. I got a call from a mom down in Florida recently, and she said that her 10-year-old son had come to her, and he was really upset. He was almost crying because he had not done well in his spelling test. He'd never done well on his spelling test. And he came home, and he said, Mommy, why am I such a bad speller? And she said, Honey, and because she had studied my teaching of affirmations and you know, been to one of my seminars, and she said, honey, you're asking the wrong question. You should ask, why am I such a great speller? And he said, huh? And so she explained the affirmations method to her son, and he really got it. He understood, and he started asking, why am I such a great speller? Why am I such a great speller? Well, she called me the very next week and said, Noah, guess what? My son got 100 on his very next spelling test. He had never gotten more than an 80 before. So it can work with your kids, too. So again, be sure to check out my great little book of affirmations. It's on Amazon and any other bookstore. And we'll be happy to hear your success story using affirmations and empowering questions. Try it. It can really change your life.